Hello magical box lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 45 years old and I live here in, well not sunny and it's not blue sky Derbyshire, it's quite miserable but it's November, what can we expect? So today we have a very special box. It is not a monthly subscription box but it is a mystery box and it is a box from one of my lovely subscribers. Um, yes, so it's a very, very special box today. So thank you very much, Jess. This is your box today. Um, Jess, she does have a shop which is on Etsy. And the shop is called Pumpkin Hollow. And I will put all the description and everything down in the box, in the description box below. But you can find her on Etsy. It's Pumpkin Hollow Shop. And you can find her that way. Uh, so yes, when uh, I found out she got a shop, because I also follow her on Instagram. I'm not sucking you, Jess, honest. <laughs> uh, we follow each other on Instagram. And uh, I found that she got a shop. I like, oh, I've got to have a little look. So I had a look and I noticed that she has mystery boxes. So this mystery box, the theme of it is, uh, it was books. And it was House of Books, I believe it's called. And I like, I'm a huge book fan, um, a bit of a book freak, so of course, for me, it's absolutely perfect. So I'm like, I have to have. And of course, I wanted to support one of my subscribers as well, so it's a little bit of a, a thank you as well. So thank you, Jess. And this box is huge. Look at the size of it. It is huge, absolutely huge. And I, I have not opened anything and I, I've had it for a while now, but I ha just haven't had a chance to film it. I've had one or two things going on that I'm not going to go into detail on here. Uh, but yeah, I've had one or two issues going on in the background and I haven't been able to actually film. Um, so yeah, so this box I've had for quite a while now and I've been dying to open everything. And um, yeah. So I'm super excited for this box. Like I say, it's not a monthly subscription. Um, Shona does a few of them, so I was lucky enough to actually get one. Uh, so yeah, I can't can't wait. And just look at the presentation of the box. Look, absolutely amazing. Look at the cute little stamps. And we've got a little pumpkin there. I'm obsessed with pumpkins, as you know. I've still got my little pumpkins, even though it's November. I've still got my little pumpkins there. And I've kept that one there. I've changed, changed the background. Yeah, I had to take everything down. I know. Uh, I'd rather keep it up every, all year round. But I thought I'd better take it down. So yeah, the box is absolutely huge. So here we go. And I just want to show you the presentation. It's 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 beautiful. I, I don't really want to unwrap anything because it's amazing. So as usual, I'll get everything out first. And it just say please leave a review. So I will do Jess. And when I did buy it, I did put a little comment on to say that it was actually me that I bought it. So just done me a little note. I haven't opened that as you can see. This I did buy separately. This doesn't come with the box, so it's little wax melt. And look how presented that is. Everything is individually wrapped. So I'll get everything out first and then we'll go through everything together. So everything's beautifully presented, beautifully wrapped, just as what you'd expect from the, an Etsy, et, I can't say Etsy seller. So I have no idea. So I couldn't have a little sneak peek, you know, because everything's so beautifully wrapped. I, I couldn't wrap things like this. And this, I did. I did have a little look, and I saw that this got a little, little charm on it. Little beetle charm. So I will be keeping. Keep, you know what I'm like. How I keep everything. And I do know um, there was a book option. Of course, the, the theme is books, and there are some secondhand books, and you could choose what theme of the book that you wanted. Well, I wonder what type of book I went for. <laughs> Which I thought was really good because, of course, you know, if you don't like horror and like you've given horror books, you're like, oh, thanks, Tar. And, you know, so I thought that was really, really well thought out. So I'm presuming these bigger ones are books. Yeah, that's a book. And I've got something here that's interesting. <laughs> Everything's so beautifully wrapped. I, I, I want to unwrap them, but I'm reluctant at the same time because they're so beautifully done. 
and another book there. So let me just check that everything is out of there. So everything was really well packaged, re really well put together. And like I say, the box is massive, absolutely massive. And you don't have to do little things like that, putting little stamps on, but she did and they are all. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll put the packaging on the floor and then I've got the box at the side and they, there we go, I'm organised. I've got my lucky unicorn scissors. Right, so I'll start, start at the beginning with this. So let's have a look and see what it says. Break into it first, then we'll have a little look. Oh, I remember what it is. So it comes from what's called the Pumpkin Press. It's like a vintage newspaper. So it's the October 22nd issue three Pumpkin Press. I'll just uh, I'll show you each one of the boxes, I do believe, have one of these obviously a different one for each box that she does and each time she does a box they are like saying limited supply first come first serve and they do have um, a different theme so it's all about all hallows horror and trouble is afoot and intruder is, is disguised as one of us Ooh, I can't wait to read that one <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Uh, I'll just show you the wax melt. So this is Howl of the Moon, Woodland Berries, Cedarwood and Juniper and Amber wax melt, handmade wax melt. So I'm like, oh, I'll buy that. And you know, I'm scrolling through like, oh, she does boxes. Must have, must have. You know what I'm like. Obviously, my, that's what my channel is about, nice boxes. Um, but as you know, I don't normally buy from Etsy sellers purely because... Oh, it's like an Aladdin's cave for me. I just want well, I'd buy everything. So for me to narrow it down a little bit, I only buy from a, like a Google search. Uh, but of course, with it being Jess with one of my subscribers, of course, I make an exception for that. <laughs> but they look absolutely amazing. I'm not going to open them just yet. Uh, or am I? No, I'm going to open them. I'm going to open them. I'll show you what they look like. There we go. They're quite easy to open. I thought, I thought it'd be a bit more difficult. Yeah, they're just the ones that you break off individually. Oh, they smell divine as well. Oh, I can't wait to use those. Thank you very much. Right, so easy one. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. I've got it right way around. Papyrus. I actually don't own any papyrus. So this is going to be absolutely amazing, you know, for doing like petitions and things like that with, with your witchcraft. Um, so actually... Whoa, I've actually seen, you know, the papyrus, uh, I don't know what you call it, a plant or a reed? I've actually seen it growing. Look at that. But I've never actually held at a piece. So for me, that's quite amazing to actually hold a piece. You see how it's done? So yeah, that would be amazing, you know, for your witchcraft to actually use and burn. So thank you for that. That's, that's well thought out, you know, especially for that as well. And if you are like somebody who does um, a lot with like um, Egyptian gods and goddesses as well, I don't particularly. Uh, it's not something I gravitate to. I'm more like um, Greek myth mythology uh, in that respect. Um, but that would be absolutely perfect to work with. That's beautiful. I don't know what to choose. I'll just go for this one. I feel like it's Christmas morning. There we go. So everything is beautifully wrapped. Okay. Of course, I'll be saving everything. <laughs> So we've got, oh, well, they look like pen nibs. So I've got an ink pen. It is the 
I've got a pen, because look, there's no end on it, but it's a wooden pen, and then you choose your own nibs to pop in it. I don't know if I can get in it. I'll just show you. So you choose your own pen nib. How many have we got? We've got one, two, four. We've got six different designs. And you pop them in somehow. I'm not certain how you pop them in now. You normally just slot them in, if I remember correctly. But you pop them in. I'm just roughly doing it. There you go. You just push it in and then you dip them in. Again, perfect for me with my, my craft. That is amazing. I don't have one like this. Thank you. I don't have one like this. I've just got the uh, feather quill that came with one of my subscription boxes. So that it comes with um, six different types of quills. Uh, is it? Uh, nibs is the proper word, isn't it? The quill is like the end bit. Uh, but yeah, six different nibs and it's got a, what's it say on it? H. I want, is that H for Helen? I think that is. If that is H for Helen, thank you very much. <laughs> So it's got a, like a H on it there. I'm pretty sure that is, isn't it? That is, thank you, Jess. If you've done that especially for me, thank you. So yeah, they just pull out and then you can then change. I don't have anything like that, so I am so happy just with like my first two things. <laughs> oh crikey. Go for this one. So I've got a little campfire stories, crackling campfire and vanilla. I can't say it, vanilla and cedar wood. What are we? I think it might be a bath bomb or something. smells lovely as well I'm going to smell it have a smell <laughs> that is beautiful oh I love that oh, I love that so it's beautiful color so it looks like a pumpkin but it's not quite a pumpkin if you know what I mean the colors a little bit more rosy but you could quite oh oh the smell Oh, it smells beautiful that. Right? You can really smell the um oh what is it I'm smelling? I think it's the the cedar wood I'm smelling more than anything. That is beautiful. So it's a crackling one. Oh, I can't wait to try that. Oh yeah, I'm I'm so happy so far. Um I'm putting packaging there, right? So I put packaging in one place and goodies in another. Uh, so this is the one with the little um uh, beetle on it he's super cute I love anything like that and uh, when I used to rescue reptiles as well we also used to have um, beetles and insects and all sorts of weird and wacky grubs and things um, as as food source as well but we also used to have things as pets and I used to have like millipedes and centipedes and yes I know if you do look on uh, my other videos if you do want to see some of my exotic pets that I did have you will if you're looking quite far on uh, I have kept my old videos so you're more than welcome to have a look at them I haven't put them as private or anything like that so check those out and you'll see what pets I used to have <laughs> so yeah I love that a lot of people might not like it, but I like things like that. There we go. Let's have a look. No idea what this is. It's like honey pot. I haven't got a clue. I'm going to have to look at it up close. Oh, it's one of the little ghosts. She does little ghosts. Um, if you check out her site, she does little ghosts. 
and it's one of the little ghosts that she does so he's like wrapped up in a little sheet or something <laughs> i like it oh he's a mummy isn't he he's wrapped up in a sheet he's a mummy oh i like him but yeah she has got these for sale um all with like different uh, things going on with them so he's super cute i like him i was trying to work out what, what is about going back to fun <laughs> Oh, he's super cute. Oh, I like him. I like little, you know, little little um, ornaments and little things like that. And we've got another little thing. This one that reminds me, you know, the Quality Street, you know, um, the one with the hazelnut inside. That's what it reminds me of. So, like I said, everything is super beautifully presented. If you're wanting these for a gift for somebody, I highly recommend it. I'm having a whale of a time here and I, I'm used to opening, you know, lots and lots of boxes. So for me, I'm like, it's brilliant. I'm loving every minute of this. What have we got here? Oh, so we've got some, yeah, little wax, wax bats. Match my nails, look. I think there's oh, the same on both sides. Yeah, the same on both sides. Oh, they smell nice. Very, I'm rubbish with scents. I think it's lavender. I've got a really bad sense of smell, so, and I have trouble distinguishing scents sometimes, but I think it's uh, more lavender, that one. That is beautiful, and I've got two of them. They're super cute, I like them. Oh, I love them. I love them. Oh, uh, I've, I've still got the books. I'm going to save the books till last. I've got these two to go. We'll go for this one. Ribbons, keep keeping the ribbons and everything. Oh. You can see the big smile on my face. Like, you know, with like my witchcraft boxes, you kind of roughly know what's going to be in them. Um, but a box like this, I've got no clue. I knew there were going to be books in them. I knew, obviously. Um, but as for anything else, I'm like... Okay. Oh, it's a handmade bookmark. Oh, that's beautiful. So it's, it's done like um, imitation leather. Um, put with like layers and layers and layers of um, paper and then painted. That's super cute, oh, and that's made more personal because I, I presume that Jess has made that as well. Oh, oh, that's lovely. That, oh, like it's got that Audrey there. Oh, I love that. Oh. I love that. Go on to this one. <laughs> God, lots of ribbon. No hair to, you know, tie it up with, but lots of ribbon. There we go. Ooh. No idea what we are yet, but it's got a moon on it. Oh, that's nice. I'm not certain what it's for. I think it's just like a placemat. The dangly bits are off of that. I'm thinking, oh, what's dangling? It's just off off of my. It's a it's a cauldron, and I think it's I think it's like a coaster or a placemat. Yeah, it's like a cork on the back. So yeah, it's like a coaster. Too nice to use that. Um, I'd probably use it, you know, for. I'd have put like my crystals or things on that because that is too nice to use. That is lovely. That I love that, and it it does look like it's hand painted as well. So I'm loving the handmade aspect of it, and especially seeing as it's by Jess as well, so that it makes it more precious to me. I love that. Oh, right, extra goodies now. The books. Oh, just noticed there another Egyptian. 
there we go i love this cord perfect you know if you're doing any like cord cutting spells that would be absolutely perfect because it is cord so i'll definitely be keeping that <laughs> i'll show you this um this channel go on camera get in focus i have changed the settings on my um, camera for filming um, i've changed the quality settings on it so hopefully it'll be a bit better quality fingers crossed <laughs> um so yeah so I'm, I'm just trialing an error on the on it really i say camera it's my mobile phone but you you understand what I'm, where i'm coming from so i've just played about with the quality settings trying to get a little bit better sharper quality for you so hopefully it's a little bit better for you fingers crossed but I am, I am what I am, I'm not very te technological, I just tend to press a button and hope for best. <laughs> right, so here we go. Well, it feels like a hardback book and it's not very often I have hardback books, so I don't think it's one that I've got. Lots and lots of this, this cord, so. Keeping you, that's me keeping you pile. That's my goodies pile. <laughs> and this, even this isn't just plain tissue paper. It's got like little stars on it. Ooh, no, I haven't got it. Now, I, the Fiora, I saw the film the fury I, oh does it have oh i saw it years ago the fury I'm trying to does it have Donald sutherland in it i'm trying to think now i'm probably getting it way wrong but yeah it's oh now i'm reading this now oh no i have not got this have not read it and i have read I haven't read the few. I saw the film. I have read a couple of his books, but I have not read this one. So thank you very much, Jess. I have a book I have not read. Oh. Right, I'm just reading everything about it now, and I'm like, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So thank you very much, Jess, for that. Very, very good condition as well. I'm looking forward to that. So we've got the next one, this one. Again, beautifully wrapped, and it's just another. It's just another nice way of passing your books along as well. I love that because we don't have books. People are always oh Kindle, electronic, and that. You can't be a book. I like to feel a book, smell a bit a book, and experience a book. I'm still old fashioned in that way. Yes, I do own a Kindle. I'll take a Kindle to work for, uh, for you know when you're on your break. You can just slip it in your bag. Yes, it's brilliant, but I I miss that book. All my witchcraft books are on as books, not an electronic form, because I like to hold it, experience it, and feel it. I just it doesn't have the same feel when it's electronic for me. Another lovely ribbon. <laughs> it's that long. It's going on the floor. There we go. Uh, so we've got House of Books. Of course, that is our. I've got a lovely quote there. So, Helen, Art is the Most Ancient Medicine by Petrie. And House of Books. Brilliant. Yep. Have I got it or haven't I? Or have I read it? Let's see if, if Jess has been psychic with this one as well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jess. <laughs> oh, but it is one of my my favourite books. I must admit, I must admit. Oh dear. So that one, absolutely amazing. Yes, but this one, I have actually got. I, I I'm not going to lie to you. I have actually got Desperation, but it's one of the one of the classic. Well, all Stephen King's are classic books. I'm a huge Stephen King fan, and. Uh, 
I do actually own all of his books. <laughs> but I, I wouldn't lie to you and say, oh no, I got it when I actually have. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. I will pass this on to somebody else that will absolutely love it. So thank you, Jess. It won't go wasted. It will go to somebody else who will love it just as much as what I would. Uh, so thank you. I've had a wonderful time. My table is full of goodies and I'm, I'm blown away. I absolutely love it. So check out Jess's shop. Uh, it does change all the time. Um, like I say, she only does a few of these boxes and the first come first served. Uh, and they are like limited editions um, so yeah check her out and um, if she hasn't got the boxes she's also got the little cute ghosts you know these little ones and um, they're all doing like different things and uh, or they're just like na naked ghosts naked ghosts um, or, or other wax melts and things like that so check out the shop I'll pop all the details below it's pumpkin frog Pump pumpkin frog where have they got pumpkin frog it's pumpkin hollow <laughs> That's a new name for a shop there, Pumpkin Frog. <laughs> um, so yeah, check out the shop and thank you very much, Jess, for all your support. And yeah, I'm glad I can support you as well in, a, in another way. So yeah, check her out. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to get reading now, so thank you very much. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've had a marvellous time. And yeah, please stay safe and please like and subscribe because... I never know when I'm going to upload a video so if you subscribe to me then you'll get a little notification as when a video is released. Uh, I have been doing the shorts uh, just to give you a little heads up as oh a video is released, uh, it's a little mini advert saying hi a video is up and running uh, just to give you a little heads up. Hope you're enjoying the shorts. Uh, so yeah like and subscribe so you get to know when a video is up and in the meantime please stay safe and I hope you have a magical day. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Bye.